Well, it's Thursday and Ohio's updated COVID numbers are out. This time there's a slight bump of about a thousand new cases this week over last, likely because school went back into session. Meanwhile, the CDC just now voted to recommend the COVID booster. So let's go to Monica here because this is new news just came down. Literally, they do this to me all the time. Like, right, right when she's at, sitting on set. As soon as I sit down, it comes across. Okay, so first of all, we weren't surprised to see the bump in cases in Ohio. And be prepared. We're likely going to see more. But according to the CDC, Cuyahoga and Lorain counties are no longer in the high case range, but our eastern and far western counties are still orange. Now, as Laura just said, the CDC just voted to recommend the boosters just moments ago that contain the dominant variants. And these boosters, of course, coming from Pfizer and Moderna. Now, the CDC director still has to sign off before they're available. The board has been deciding who should get the initial doses. It's not a surprise and we should know within minutes if the elderly and immunocompromised get them first. Now to get one, you must have had your primary doses of the original vaccine and your last shot had to be more than two months ago. Now these shots are age specific, 12 and over for Pfizer, 18 and over for Moderna. COVID's not over. More than 400 people are dying in America every day from this. Uh, and people's risk varies. Uh, elderly individuals are at greater risk of severe disease, hospitalization, and death, as are people with certain disabilities, certain medical conditions that put them at, at increased risk. For the young and healthy who aren't around people who are high risk, doctors tell me they could reasonably wait until October or November before getting the boost to be prepared for the holiday season. So that's something for other people to consider. Meanwhile, get your flu shot still. Okay, so there's a lot of people in this community who are saying, eh, maybe I won't get it. Are these boosters really needed for my kids, for me? What's the answer? You know what? I think it's a personal choice. But one thing we do not know yet is how well they will work. We can expect somewhat of a COVID surge as, as cold and flu season ramps up. We know protection is waning from prior vaccines and even infections. So I think a lot of this is going to be personal choice. But those who are vulnerable or those who care for the vulnerable, doctors say truly it is better to be safe than sorry. I got to give you a clap because literally I have the, the news came down. She sat here and that breaking news came down. So thank you so much. Oh, thanks to it's Amanda, a lot, our producer. Yeah, thank and you. It takes, a, <laughs> takes a team. Thanks.